so glad you're back again and I love it. Thank you for joining me for Reading Time with Amanda Brown. I am Amanda Brown. Today, I picked a book called Libby Loves Science. Um, I have two daughters, five-year-old and a nine-year-old, and they both enjoy science experiments. They love mixing things and pouring this and pouring that and seeing bubbles rise or trying to figure out how something works or what's gonna happen, the cause and effect. So, they love this book. Libby loves science. And I hope that you will too. And parents, I know it can be a lot sometimes when our children are curious about certain things and we're like, oh Lord, this is gonna make a mess. Oh my gosh, what are you gonna do? But we wanna make sure that we're encouraging that healthy curiosity that's already built into them because it's gonna serve a purpose positively. It may seem like it's not being positive right now with the messes that science can make in our homes, but it's all for a purpose. God doesn't make mistakes. So. Libby Loves Science. This is one of the I Can Read books. It's um, when children are have learned to read already, but they're simple sentences. And it's definitely a book once they have started learning to read that they can add to their repertoire of things that they can read on their own. I also like to do tag team reading, which is what I like to do with my nine-year-old. She reads a sentence. I read a sentence. She reads a page. I read a page. Great way for engagement. So, Libby loves science. Mix and measure. This book is written by Kimberly Durding and Shelley R. Johannes. The pictures are by Joelle Murray. On Saturday morning, Libby got up early. She fed her dog sprinkles. Then she made her own breakfast. Today was a special day. Happy birthday, sprinkles, Libby said, hugging her dog. What time is the puppy party, asked Libby's mother. It starts in two hours, Libby said. Rosa is coming over now to help me get ready. I want to help too, said Leo, Libby's little brother. As soon as Rosa arrived, they got started. We need some doggy decorations, said Rosa. We need some doggy treats, said Leo. We need to make cupcakes for our guests, said Libby. Sprinkles wagged her tail. She was excited too. Libby and Rosa found the perfect cupcake recipe. The cupcakes looked fluffy and yummy. Each cupcake had a candy paw print on the top. These are so cute, said Rosa. The friends read the list of ingredients. I'll get the sugar flour, and baking powder, said Libby. I'll get the milk, vanilla, and butter, said Rosa. Leo knocked over the baking powder by mistake. What a mess! Leo, said Libby. The friends got out mixing bowls, measuring spoons, and measuring cups. Libby found the hand mixer. Let's bake, she said. Roof, said Spring. Libby read the recipe. First, we need to measure the flour, she said. Rosa picked up a measuring cup. She carefully measured one and a half cups of flour, then poured it in the bowl. What's next, said Rosa. Now we need to mix the other ingredients in a different bowl, said Libby. It 
In a second bowl, Libby and Rosa mixed together one cup of sugar, half a cup of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two eggs. Now, what does the recipe say? Rosa asked. Libby read the directions. We have to mix all the ingredients and then stir in a half cup of milk, she said. Make sure there are no lumps, said Rosa. Mixing is just as important as measuring, said Libby. The friends took turns mixing the batter until it was perfect. That looks good, said Libby. Yay, it's time to bake the cupcakes, said Rosa. Rosa put paper liners into the cupcake pan. The liners were decorated with paw prints. Libby spooned batter into each liner. She filled each liner halfway. She used only half of the batter in the bowl. Libby's mom put the cupcakes in the oven and set the timer. Are they done yet? Leo asked. The recipe says they need to bake for 20 minutes, Rosa said. Let's decorate for the party while the cupcakes are baking, Libby said. Libby, Leo, and Rosa strung streamers around the yard. They set up doggy grooming stations and a bubble machine. They set up hoops to jump through. They even made a special happy birthday sign. Leo poured doggy treats into bowls. Ding! The cupcakes are ready, Rosa said. Libby's mom pulled the hot cupcake pan out of the oven. Oh no, our cupcakes are flat, Libby said. And they're hard, Rosa said. They look like rocks, said Leo. They sure aren't fluffy, said Libby. What happened, said Rosa. Libby noticed the spilled baking powder on the counter. We forgot an important ingredient, she said. Baking powder is what makes the cupcakes rise. Do we have to start over, asked Rosa. I don't think so, Libby said. We still have half the batter left. Libby and Rosa, Libby and Rosa studied the recipe again. It says to use one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, Rosa said. She reached for the measuring spoon. Wait, said Libby. We only have half the batter left, so we should cut that amount in half. Good thinking, said Rosa. What is half of one and a half teaspoons? I know, said Libby. It's three-fourths of a teaspoon. Rosa measured the baking powder. Leo mixed it in with the batter. Libby's mom put the new batch of cupcakes in the oven. Cross your fingers, Libby said. This time when the cupcakes came out, they were perfect. Yummy, said Leo. Everyone's going to love these, said Rosa. We need to decorate them before our guests get here, Libby said. They still need to cool, said Rosa. We're running out of time, Roar! said Sprinkle. While they waited, Libby, Rosa, and Leo stuffed goodie bags for their guests. Every puppy would get one chew toy and one doggy treat. And every friend would get a puppy sticker and a puppy pencil. Finally, the cupcakes were cool. Libby, Rosa, and Leo frosted each one. Then, 
They decorated them with paw prints made of candy. They finished just in the nick of time. Minutes later, the guests arrived. The humans put on their party hats and the pups wore their doggy bandanas. There was a lot of barking. There was even more wagging. The pups played pin the tail on the cat. Sprinkles won. The pups played musical mats. Sprinkles lost. Some dogs were groomed. Some dogs took naps. The pups loved their treats and everyone loved the cupcakes. How did you make such fluffy cupcakes? asked Libby's mom. We mixed and measured, said Libby. We frosted and decorated, said Leo. Baking is so much fun, said Rosa. That's because baking is science, said Libby. And I love science. Libby loves science. As parents, we had to take time to observe and figure out what do our kids love and then find a way to keep supporting them in that area. I hope you enjoyed today's book.